Okay guys, so we're gonna give you a first hands look at the 84 x 4 Chevy that we're painting. So let's take a look at it and check it out. So we've got over the spray booth, we've got the hood sitting here, he's got the cowl hood. Backside we've already sprayed, satin black, that's what the owner wanted. And there's the truck itself, you remember we did all the jams, all the interior, everything. You know, she's got a 350 in there. All the rad support, inner fenders, everything, we've done the nice satin block. As you can see, the firewall, we've painted all the firewall. We've done all the interior, all the roof, all that. We did that quite some time ago. You would have saw it on past videos, but, so we're gonna be painting, let me get out of the way here, so much stuff in the way here. We're gonna be painting the truck this evening, but last night, we started painting the box and all the parts, so here it is. Look at that. Look at the shine on that, here we go. This has got the nice wooden floor, it's got the nice oak wood he bought with the stainless strips. Wow. And this is, believe it or not, Marcel is going to use this truck as this is his all year, every day, daily driver. He built this truck to, just to have it and drive it. This is not ever going to see the sights of a garage or nothing. Again, there's the tailgate. Did a beautiful job again. Usually you'll end up getting little sags on these little letters and that sometimes. As you can see, we don't have any. This is just straight out of the gun. This is three coats of base. The color is the base. And we put on three coats of clear. And look at the shine. Okay, well, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get these parts rolled out, and I'm gonna get this truck rolled in, and we're gonna begin masking. So, I gotta set the camera down for a bit, but I will be back at it in a little while. Okay, we'll get back to this truck here now. We got her all painted up. There's the kind, look, look at this truck, it's sort of lifted in the air. There's the kind of ladder you need. <laughs> Oh, we can't stand these lifted up trucks, they're a pain. But they're cool, what can you say? You do what you do. Anyway, you can look down that, look at the reflection of everything off of that. It's always hard to tell in the booth because the booth makes everything look like a different color and throws things off because you got all the lights on it. But of course I will continue this video once we get it all unmasked. And outside, got that. Got the hood right here. Look at the shine on that hood. Absolutely gorgeous. Cowl. Looks amazing. Lots of masking. Again, to mask this thing all off. You see the masking here, but then there's masking underneath. And then there's masking here because you don't want to get any overspray anywhere. So this was, uh, this was Sean yesterday masking this. This was five hours of masking. Even when you open the doors up, you see it just on the windows, but you open the doors up, it's all masked in there. So that's it, it's looking beautiful. You can see the box is way out front there, sitting in front of the booth, waiting to get lifted on. So yeah, so I'm gonna unmask this bad boy and away we go, we'll take it from there. All right, so we got it all unmasked. There we go. Things always look better when they're unmasked. And you know what's really crazy? Is when you put glass in a vehicle, especially brand new glass, God, does it ever wake them up. Glass just makes a vehicle. Glass, wheels, and tires. I remember once there was a book, a hot rod magazine. I think it was called Street Rodder. Well, the Street Rodder's still out there, but... This was back in the day in the 80s. I remember reading it and they took this rusty old car. It was a 57 Chevy. And they took it and they put a set of nice wheels and tires on it. And they washed it. And they put brand new glass all the way around it. And the car just woke right up. And the car was all rusted, like surface rust. Like it was one of these cars you'd find now that they call a barn find. But back then it was just a, punk, a piece of shit. No one was interested. And to be honest with you, that was probably one of the first things that I ever saw. And I thought to myself, does that car ever look cool? I wouldn't change a thing about it. I remember that in the book in the 80s. 
But anyway, back on the topic. There we go. Look at the shine on this truck. It looks absolutely beautiful. So the next thing is we've got to roll it out of here. We've got to set the box on it. And uh, I do still got to unmask the hood here. Just got to pull that off. And I got to take the hood, throw it in the back of the truck, bring it home. And that's it. Start putting this bad boy together. So there you go. There you go. The square body is painted. So probably in a week, you'll see another video with it all bolted together. Box on, wood in the box, and looking good. And the customer, honestly, seriously, 100%. This customer built this truck and he is driving it under my yard and it is his daily driver all year round. He doesn't even keep it in the garage, it sits in his driveway. It's gonna be in the snow, the rain, the salt, everything. Way to go, buddy. No trailer queens here. It's always a good time at old time.